my hair, man. This quarantine is get it's getting a little out of hand. I I feel like I'm slowly approaching the Slim Jim guy. Snap into a Slim Jim. It doesn't matter. Uh, welcome back. Good to have you guys here. We got another video today because I'm gonna be talking to you guys about something that you guys need to know that I figured out on the fly. And oh boy, is it a game changer if you're using a capture card. You need this. I've seen it in multiple channels. I've always thought it was a, an issue with Twitch or OBS or something like that. Turns out this problem that I have and know of is from my capture card. Now granted, it's not all capture cards. The majority that I have here are all affected by this issue and it's solved with literally a couple clicks of your mouse. I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through something today. I gotta show it to you first so you understand what's happening. So we're gonna get right on into it. No fluff, no things. I'm, I'm not trying to sponsor this video with anything. I'm just gonna get right to it and show you guys something that you need. We're gonna keep this video short. I feel like I, I, feel like I say that a lot and I wanna keep it short and then it ends up being like a nine or seven or 12 minute video. I don't mean for that to happen. I just get super involved. This doesn't help because I'm talking and then I'm just gonna end up cutting this into the video and I don't know why I do that. I don't know why I do that. Anyways, we're, we're, we're going in. Come with me to my desktop. So we got our uh, ourselves our OBS chilling right here. I went ahead and opened it up for you guys and I wanted to show you exactly the issue that I'm seeing and I saw it in my last video. My last video was all about how to connect your console to your OBS using a capture card. While I was editing that video, I saw this issue and I wanted to show you guys it right now. And so the best way to showcase what I'm talking about is to go to my audio advanced uh, audio properties. I'm gonna go ahead and go to this, hide this guy out of here because you don't really need to see it. On this screen, I can Already see the issue that I want to deal with. Can you see it? Let me help you out. Okay, so I've made the screen bigger for you guys to see the issue at hand. Now, this is something I've always seen in people's channels where red text on screen or some sort of reticle in a video game or something just doesn't look right. And it's bothered me so often that I had to make a video once I figured out the solution to how to fix this issue. So if you can't tell, you can already see some chromatic aberration happening inside of, uh, you know, this text. You're seeing a little bit of rainbow going on here and you're seeing the, uh, the active, this says active, by the way, if you can't, I know you can't read that. The issue is that your capture card is set up in a way potentially that is harming that text. Now let me show you what it looks like if I were to fix the problem. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you exactly how many clicks it's gonna take to fix this issue, okay? I double click to open up a source, I scroll down with my mouse, I click one button, I click a second button, and boom. Now you can read that text perfectly. Do you wanna know what I did? Look at, look at all the other text on screen. I'm not seeing the rainbow text here. I'm not seeing issues with the active text now. I can read that. That's, that's huge. That's, that's a big deal. Let me take it back real quick. If you have a capture card in your PC, this is stock. Meaning when you put in your capture card, if you're not changing your settings, this is what you're going to end up with. That's like setting something to auto. I, I'm not an auto fan. Let me go ahead and show you option A or take an extra step and get option B. I'm pretty sure you're going to want B. I'm just throwing it out there. Now let me show you exactly what I'm doing. So here's my capture card sitting right here. I have an Elgato HD 60 Pro. So if you go into your capture card, I'm going to show you exactly what it is that you need to do to fix the problem that I just presented to you. So if you double click on your capture card inside your settings, if you scroll down, you're going to end up seeing a lot more options down here. Resolution, resolution, FPS, video format, color space, range, buffering, and you should get to know what some of this stuff is. However, we're going to focus on this one part that did that major boost in terms of that red text that we just looked at. And that is video format. If you simply just click on this, you have a lot of selections here and rather than get into each one of these i'm going to tell you that if you choose xrgb that is going to boost and give you that extra oomph that you might need to get a better looking image out of your capture card and it's such a simple thing to select and has such a major important role that your viewers are going to see or your whoever's watching your content on a live stream or recorded format they're going to see the the quality change they're going to be able to read certain things that might not have been legible before okay so what's happening here let me try to break it down in a very simple and easy to understand kind of situation all your capture cards you have this thing called chroma subsampling what is chroma subsampling you may have seen numbers on the internet or somewhere that showed something like 444 or 422 or 420 in terms of uh representing color and luminance with an image 
What do those numbers mean exactly? Like, let, let me show you a quick example here. So over here in the center of the screen, you can see what 444, 422, and 420 means. All right, now I'm not going to get too heavily into this, but you can kind of take a look at what's happening here. Now, over here on the left, you got the luminance for an image, right? Then on the, the middle, you got the chroma. And then on the right, you got the luma and the chroma. And at different compression levels of what we're talking about, this chroma subsampling. When you're setting your capture card to default, this default or any, it might choose any one of these things. And these are different levels of chroma subsampling for your capture card. If you set it to any, you might be getting a lower compression of your colors to sacrifice a little bit of quality. And I don't really know why you'd want to do that. Why not try to push for the best possible quality by selecting something that will give you that 444 quality output. And the only thing I could think of is that maybe a computer or your setup maybe can't handle it or maybe it kind of chugs along there because you're selecting that option just keep in mind that if you do have that issue that you should try these other options and test again but each one of these is giving you a little bit less and less quality now, i don't know which one's the worst but i do know the best is xrgb which is giving that full color sampling to your viewers in your capture card so you're getting the best accurate color representation through your capture card. I wanted to give you guys an idea of how this thing that I'm selecting works. And I wanted to just keep it simple. I don't want to bog your brain down with too much information. Just know that XRGB is the best you can choose. And if your computer can't handle it for some reason while streaming or recording, you got to lower it, change to a different option, go back to any. It's all like a case by case basis. I would try to set your capture card to XRGB. I have three capture cards and two of them have that option. And my capture card for this camera right now does not. Technically, there are some issues when I look at my own capture card and I see the image of my chair or anything like that on screen, I can see a little bit of issues. Now that I know what I'm looking for, I can see the issues. So I just want to let you guys know that it is a quick, simple, easy fix to go ahead and boost your quality a little bit more by giving it the full chroma subsampling that is what you can offer. You know, like why not push as much quality as you can? And if it's only a couple clicks away, why not try it? That's the end of this video. That's, I, that's all I wanted to talk about. I, quick and simple, man. I'm not here to lecture you guys on a bunch of different things. I just know you guys want to get right to the facts. Some of you guys don't care about understanding why. And I get that, dude. If you want to dive deep into it, maybe check out uh, Chroma subsampling on the internet and give yourself a, a little lesson in color space and color science and how it's captured and recorded and whatnot. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you want. No pressure, dude. You're, you're your own boss, man. I've told you guys this in the past. You do whatever you want, man. I'm just here to try to give you guys advice or tips and whatnot as a broadcaster. And what I am all about is production quality and value of your what you already have and how to boost what you already have to give it that much more, you know, more expensive look, I guess. I don't know. That works. But thank you guys. Appreciate it. Uh, follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash activator. I'm usually live Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern to 5 p.m. or a little bit. You know, I, I, there's a little bit of wiggle room there. I'm live for about six hours a day. However, on Wednesdays, which is today, uh, I, I've been starting to record videos on the weekly basis. So uh, come by if you want. If you ever have any questions, feel free to hit me up in my Twitter DMs. Hit me up here. Go check out my Discord at uh, discord.gg slash activator. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.